Hi, welcome to the Wikibon Studios in Marlboro, Massachusetts. I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon, and pleased to introduce someone actually that doesn't need an introduction to the Wikibon community, uh, Brian Gracely. Uh, Brian, uh, thanks for joining me for this segment. And uh, you know, you were on the first Cube segment. We were talking about it 2010, uh, back uh, the first year we were doing the Cube, the first day we were doing Cube. You were there. You were right at the intersection of we we're talking about infrastructure, converged infrastructure. Yeah. You know, still early days of cloud. Uh, tell you what, what brings you to the Wikibon office today? No, it's it's great to be here in the the massive Wikibon studios. I you know I joke around sometimes the massive cloudcast studios. Uh, I'm here because. Uh, I want to come help you guys. Do, we're going to do a content series. Uh, I'm going to be a contributor to the Wikibon community, to the Wikibon research, and uh, so I'm going to do research. I'm going to do you know blogging and posts. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get a chance to do some stuff with the Cube at VMworld, at uh, AWS reInvent, and maybe some other events in between. Yeah. So, so Brian, you know, we, we've talked a number of times through interviews, and you and I have talked. We yep. were avid readers of your content, listen to your blog, the Cloudcast. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, your podcast. Yes. The Cloudcast. Uh, first question I got, Brian, is everybody saying so? Br Brian's going to be doing some stuff with you. Is the podcast going to stay? Yeah, absolutely. The pod I mean, the podcast. The podcast has always been a community thing. So, just like Wikibon's been a community thing. It's always been a community thing. Uh, it's a great chance for you know, us to go meet some new people, but at the end of the day, everybody else gets it. It's, uh, it's a great chance for, for the feedback we always get is lots of community, they're learning new things. So yeah, it's just another vehicle to be learning things, and then I'll take that knowledge and, and bring it to the Wikibon community. Yeah, wh why don't you walk us through a little bit, you know, wh what's your take on kind of the IT industry? Wh what's that meant for you personally and from a development standpoint, right. uh, what you focus on? Yeah, so, um, so t right now is a crazy time. So people call it different things. They call it cloud native and they call it third platform and all this stuff. For me personally, you know, I've been doing this roughly 20 years, give or take. Um, I feel like we're at the end of what was a 20-year-ish run. We're at the beginning of what's going to be a new run. Um, you know, mobile's now the default device. Uh, public cloud is becoming more and more prevalent for the applications that we love, as opposed to maybe the applications we deal with. And then open source is becoming more and more the, the community-driven way of driving software. So when you have these three major shifts going on, and then you've got, you know, whether the industry is driving revenue, c existing le applications, driving new businesses, like it's a fantastic time to help people un sort of unbox it, figure out what's the strategy, who's going to win, who's going to lose, and so uh, for me it's a, it's a really fun time because I like digging into what's happening, I like to write, I like to, to interview people and, and talk about what's new and stuff, so it's really fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Wikibon was founded on allowing IT practitioners to share with their peers. Uh, the, the team here, we dig in deep with the, the, uh, the with the community, uh, and really from a from a research standpoint, there's three major focus areas we have, and we think we do best when we you know cross those those boundaries. So it's it's cloud, it's big data, and it's infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, you and I both have heavy infrastructure background, uh, but uh, you know w w what's that kind of rough out a little bit of the stack uh, for us, if you will, and you can kind of, you know, the interesting pieces to you, and I know we're going to do a lot of follow-on videos to kind of dig deeper into some of the areas. Yeah, so the stuff I'm really excited about, and we're going to do this whole media series on, um, or content series, uh, we're going to talk about hybrid cloud, so really how much of the future is going to be public, how much of it's going to be private, where's that intersection going to be, uh, we're going to talk yeah, about. So Brian, Brian, real quick on yeah. this. So, so hybrid cloud, I mean, is it just a marketing term? Do hybrid clouds exist today, or are there just a million clouds, cloud-like things <sighs> out there that are basically virtualization I, I think, plus? I think the reality is a little bit more the latter than the former, yeah. uh, which I, I wish it wasn't. I, I think pe what people want is they want hybrid. They want the best of both worlds. Getting there is tough. Um, so that'll be one of the core areas we'll focus on. Uh, we're going to focus on on the whole container revolution. It really is a revolution. Wait, What's Docker? going on? Docker, 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 Docker. Yeah, Docker. yeah. yeah. And you, uh, you were at DockerCon. Yeah. Uh, actually, got to sit on a couple interviews. Uh, you fun. and I interviewed uh, Adrian Cockroft. Yeah, John uh, Willis. And a lot and in that space. I mean, ecosystems. I mean, oh, uh, you know. Brian, you know, is the VMware ecosystem is trouble? Is the Docker ecosystem the new VMware ecosystem? Is AWS just going to crush everyone? I mean, those areas we're going to yeah. dig into deep. Yeah, those are going to be fun. <laughs> and so we'll dig into those, and then the last one is going to be around platforms, or mm. some folks want to call them PaaS. Sometimes PaaS is a bad word, but these new application platforms for the, the future, and whether those are running in a private cloud, whether they're running on containers, whether they're running in a Go language or something else, like we're going to dig into all those things and what people should look at for how to evaluate them. Should they run them themselves? Should they get somebody else to help them run them? What are the ways to really kind of help them get from A to B? Because because people, you know, I, the CIOs I talk to, the practitioners I talk to, they all realize 
those new applications are changing the business. They're no longer cost savers, they're business changers. And so they want to know, like, how do I get there and how do I get there faster and what's the right decision? Yeah, it, it's interesting. I was have, having a chat with one of the, you know, a leading infrastructure player and th they made a comment that over half of the buyers that they're dealing with now are the application owners. Because yeah. it's those new application owners that are driving that development. And I always said, the reason we have infrastructure is to deliver that application. So it's, how do I run that business? How do I move forward with it? Um, you know. The, one of the main reasons containers is really exciting is to help us move to those new applications, and of course, that's the whole purpose of those platforms. Right, right, and 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 you know, it, it sounds cliche, but like literally everything's changing. Where software's developed is in communities more so. The role of an SI is changing, right? The role of, of a vendor is is evolving, and they're trying to figure that out. And then as an end user, you're going, I want outcomes. So who do I deal with? And so it's it's crazy and confusing, but it's a really fun time to be in the industry right now. If you're, you're eager to learn, you're willing to, to open your mind a little bit and look at new things, and, and hopefully we'll get to explore a lot of that. Yeah, and, it, and it's interesting, because open source plays a big part of it. You mentioned that before, but even for us, the Wikibon community, um, we want to give the practitioners the tools they need to help make these decisions. Right. Um, there obviously needs to be funding to create a, a business for what we're doing with Wikibon. We've got sponsorships for theCUBE, um, and you know there's certain deep research that we're putting behind the firewall. Most of the content I think you're going to be creating is going to be out there for the public to see, yep. um, and help help explain some of the deep pieces. So, right. you know, what, what what do you see as kind of the, there's, you know, the freemium models out there, there's the, you know, create a, you know, foundation, uh, something we're going to dig into deeper, but, you know, where are we with open, is open source just everywhere and the default today, or? I, I think it's becoming, it, it's definitely not the default revenue model. So, so there's a big gap between the lines of code and the dollars that are coming in. Uh, it's becoming the default sort of innovation model and then people are trying to get creative as to how do you monetize that. It's it's op it's great opportunity for little companies that are want to get started. So like like Docker or you know like a lot of other companies, and it's a huge disruption for big companies that that can't figure out they're either not software companies or that's not their business model. So um, it's it's a really interesting time. I'll tell you the other thing that's really interesting I've seen lately at a few shows a lot of end user companies. So companies like Target and companies like uh, you know the banks and other you know uh, retail banking insurance they're showing up to recruit as heavily as anybody else they're because they realize I've got to get those people in house and so they're they're trying to own those communities they're trying to own that culture they're trying to bring it in house so it really is changing the whole supply chain which is which is interesting and fun yeah r really a big shakeup going up in the ecosystems uh, how much are some of those big companies going to build their own stacks how much will there be uh, the platforms or you you know, the, the solutions that can put together to make things, uh, you know, better for them. So, I mean, a lot of change, a lot of churn going on in, in that yeah, environment. And, and, and we all tend to geek out on it, and then we sort of have to realize sometimes, like, people don't care. They just want to get a job done. They want to go, they want to go run a business. And somewhere in that intersection is, is what, what wins and what loses and, and uh, you know, what people have to make decisions on. All right, so we want to keep this one short, Brian. Yep. Uh, we're going to have lots more content uh, coming out uh, from you. People go to wikibon.com to be able to see all the research that we're doing. Uh, videos will be uh, funneling uh, through those places. Yep. Uh, you're going to be at VMworld here at the end of the month. We're going to do some videos talking about that. Yep. Uh, definitely AWS, probably some other shows. Go to siliconangle.tv. Uh, you can catch uh, where the events are going to be. Uh, of course, Brian's Be Gracie on Twitter. Uh, and uh, really looking forward to working with you, engaging the community here, and and uh, thanks for joining us, Brian. Yeah, thanks. It's always been fun working with you guys, and now I get to do it more often, so that'll be fun. Excellent. All right, so thanks for watching. Lots more coming from uh, Wikibon. Brian is part of this uh, you know, cloud uh, you know, contributions, a whole series we'll be doing. Uh, to check out all the websites, uh, and uh, always hit us up on Twitter or uh, leave us feedback uh, with any questions you have. Thanks for watching. <laughs>